You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm going to be playing Klonoa, Door to Phantom Hill, on the PlayStation Classic via Bleemsync and RetroArch. And let's see how this goes. Is it playable? Does it run fine? Why didn't Sony include this? Anyway. Clonova. Actually, I didn't play this game much. Um, my first experience of Clonova was in the PlayStation 2 already, and I just played it on my friend's place again. And um, got quite familiar with him, the character, in the PlayStation 2 strategy RPG game Namco X Cap. Cross Capcom. I remember Klonoa being one of the characters there. So, playing this game is more like a curiosity. Seeing where the character Klonoa came from. Of course, I am AAA. Jump, shoot, jump, shoot, okay. And as far as I know, this is a platformer side-scrolling game. I think. Okay, seems like a 2.5D game. I can float a bit like how Yoshi does in the Super Mario Yoshi's Island game. I can grab and throw stuff. Reminds me of uh, the Mickey Mouse games in the... Oh, what was it? I think it was the Capcom Mickey Mouse games. Alright, I can't seem to reach that one. Okay, so apparently I cannot stomp on opponents. Kinda like a Mario reflex there. some mechanic I'm not familiar with. Can I jump high if I press down? Or jump downwards? I'm not able to glide enough to get to the ledge. Anyway, maybe I'm just going the wrong way. Anyway, my knowledge of the game aside, um, at least from what I can see, the game is running okay. If you're more familiar with the game, I suppose you shouldn't have any problems with it. Knowing what to do, where to go. Unlike me, who never really played the game, obviously. even hiding the fact <laughs> so the heck yeah I should have maybe I should have just watched some YouTube video some speedrun of course some of someone before I tried uh, running this game Is 
is a windy place. Maybe I need to get myself blown away or something here. But anyway, uh, just not to drag the video too much, I'll uh, be switching games. Anyway, that was uh, Klonoa Door to Phantom Mill, and I apologize for my lack of knowledge of that game. Uh, it's running, and it runs okay. Didn't get that far though. I'll try another one. This one is an import from Japan. And I think this is based from an older arcade game or a PC Engine game, I think. And that's it. Mad Stalker Full Metal Force. And if I remember right, this is sort of a... like a remake updated or version of some sort not exactly how the original version went made some changes for the PlayStation version and all right it's uh, sort of like a side scroller brawler but it's um uh, you know it's not like final fight when you, where you can move around between the foreground and the background this one is uh, strictly 2D and there's a um, little bit of story although I never understood it of course and that um, when I use that gun I actually do uh, like a fireball motion a la Street Fighter So the game is pretty much straightforward. Um, as I said, it's kind of like a retro feel to it already. <laughs> it's a simple kind of hack, hack and slash side scroller with with the giant robot though, performing uh, moves like a samurai. Or a ninja, I don't know. With a gun. So, I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> I do apologize. So the game isn't particularly well known and its gameplay is kind of like a niche. Um, so it's really up to you if you're into this kind of um, gameplay. If you are, it's uh, it's actually an okay game. It's good for a few hours, I guess. But I suppose it's definitely not essential to your PlayStation Classic list. And that's it for this game. 
I'm gonna go ahead and try just one more for this video and I think I saw the next game being what the I hate it when that happens it's most like I have to really start the core first and then go to the folder otherwise we won't see anything and yeah um, MDK from shiny if I remember right yep 1997 feels so long ago this I th I remember reading about this in magazines this was really groundbreaking at the time I played this on PC for a while although I can't quite recall if it's the first one or the second one that I played the second one was the one where you had multiple characters right and this had the very innovative um, retractable parachute turned out okay except I had no idea what to do and then we had mad stalker that also felt um, okay it's playable but it's definitely not for everyone I guess and okay, looking at this game, MDK, looks okay, it's running okay. I suppose this game is more for the ones who have nostalgia for it. It's not. It's not exactly. something that uh, people would be still playing today it's a product of its time but if you do have nostalgia for it it's good news is it seems to be okay on the PlayStation Classic but this isn't a game, at least from what I know, isn't, it isn't one of those, uh, again, it's not one of those like an uh, essential must-have on the PlayStation, PlayStation Classic. Yeah. Well, if it is, uh, no offense uh, intended there, if you're a fan of this game. You know, 
Everyone has uh, different tastes, I guess. Keep doing that. All right. Ah. Uh. Did I waste it? I'm figuring out on what to do. I can't recall. Oh boy. Anyway, that's it for this video. Yeah, I played three games. Three games I'm not really completely familiar with. That was uh, Klonoa, Red Stalker, and MDK. And. Um, I'd say all of them are playable, at least. And uh, if you're a fan of those games, yeah, that's good news. The good news is they can be playable enough on the PlayStation Classic. And that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe.